This is cool. I've never actually picked this stuff before it's been in the store. And uh, he got himself a definite score. Guys, welcome back. Today we're going thrifting. Hopefully find some really cool golf clubs this time, but let's get inside store number one, see what we can find. Also again, really close to 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I know we always say it, but it's still a- No, that's really crazy yeah, still. Yeah, it's still crazy to us. So let's keep things rolling here. Get inside thrift store number one, see what we can find. Starting things off with a weird variety of clubs, or I guess I should say a lack of variety of clubs. We got a bunch of Yonex clubs. Some of them are still new in plastic, but they're all five and seven irons. Well, the majority of them are five and seven irons. Must be like a demo thing that a club had or an old store, maybe getting rid of them. They're Cyber Star Nano Speeds. Not really familiar with them, but they've got a ton of five and seven irons, probably 20 of each of them. And then a bunch of other Yonex clubs, the old uh, ADX, these are like the graphite head ones, got some newer ones too also have this awesome founders club bag it is insanely nice uh, yeah some more of these five and seven irons another one of these graphite headed yonix also got a zebra putter my dad has been looking for one of these he used to use one of these he's been looking for one of these forever he always liked this kind of a this and the bullseye he would switch between but uh yeah definitely a weird start tons of yonix stuff all of the new uh yonix stuff that we saw at the pj yeah, merchandise really show cool. that stuff looked cool so i don't know what's going on here but yeah. definitely interesting first purchase of the day is this zebra putter way better feeling than it looks also managed to lure my dad out of retirement to try it out yeah i don't know why i ever got rid of it but then i actually just made a putt longer than john and i combined so nothing new here we also got one of those yonex clubs if this was a two iron i would put this straight in the bag super easy to hit really high ball flight would be a perfect driving iron let's see what we find next looks like they're making room for more golf clubs or just more unicorns but who knows see what we got for the clubs though we got an old tony pena got some power belts in here got this pretty sweet looking one iron although it's shorter than uh like the three irons and two irons in here what do you got over there bob man houdini oh it's a houdini two we must have missed out on houdini one he escaped <laughs> you got jokes lately we also have these wilson irons this is pretty cool it looks like the uh, tailor-made mc irons from like 2014 i think the rocket blades had this too it's like a speed slot it's supposed to help you on uh lower or off center hits it's kind of cool this is like 30 or 40 years old it's always funny how golf technology like uh, regenerates or gets reused after a while but not much else here oh, there's a little uh, that putter seen better days but off the bat you what do you think should we get one of these yeah, try it I don't out think it's a full set so. yeah it's not a full set so we're not breaking anything up but looks pretty cool we'll try this out Ashley got herself a Garfield thing and there's a guy he recognized us and he said I got some golf clubs for you so we're gonna check them out yeah these are cool yeah much better condition <laughs> don't worry about it, boss you all right <laughs> we get out here 9 30 tonight because you pull the muscle is it price as a set or Look, is it? The price is gonna be a dollar ninety nine. Each of them? Each club, a dollar ninety nine club. Okay. That guy was super nice, but we did want to break up that full set and we didn't need that Wilson putter. So we just ended up getting the Wilson Reflex iron. We all mishit this, but it was actually pretty forgiving. None of our shots really strayed that far off the line. So pretty interesting for being 30 years old, super forgiving. If you ever find one, definitely pick it up. Looks like they still got that Wilson bag from last time we were here. We contemplated getting this for way too long in the last video, so we won't bore you with that. But let's take a look at the clubs over here. Still got those Wilson fire stick iron, Wilson staff with the fire stick shafts. What else do we got? Got a tailor-made railer knockoff. Oh, we got Wilson Ultras. I think this is uh, the brand that they sell, or this is like the cheapest set at Walmart. We've done the cheapest golf ball at Walmart. Yeah, guys, let us know in the comments if you uh, want us to do the cheapest like box set at Walmart. It'll be a little bit more expensive than a dozen golf balls, but... What else do we got in here? We got a pure spin. You guys have seen me hit this a bunch of times before. What do you got over there? I've never seen this before. Lobo. Like oh yeah, Lobo. Lobo. It's got like a fox right there. That's pretty cool. What else you got? Oh yeah, Lee Trevino with the sombrero. That's pretty cool. Well loved. Definitely well loved. Kind of looks like the old Hogan shirt out. That one's got a ping grip though. Yeah, the grip alone is cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not sure why they have a golf rack and all the clubs are over here, but who am I to second guess them? Also got a uh, persimmon wood right here. I've been reading your guys' comments and I usually say I don't know anything about these, which is still probably true, but you guys said that the uh, non-laminated versions are the ones to pick up, so we'll try that. Got a uh, old Big Bertha, oh no, Big Bursar. Oh, that got me. Usually I can spot the knockoffs oh, pretty quickly, but yeah. Oh, we got a Cadillac three wood never seen that before definitely have to pick that up 
try that out. What else do we got? Got a full set with tubes or something back there. Got some Yonex. I think this is the graphite head one. Uh, tour models. Oh, it's like a full set of those uh, Wilson ones. That one's got, um, you guys will have to educate me on this, the uh, metal, those ones good to uh, pick up. I just want to hit them, but uh, what else do we got? Pretty cool, uh, never seen a uh, Cadillac 3, we'll have to pick that up. Oh, Ashley and her head covers as always. She usually finds the bags and the head covers, so. <laughs> just the head cover today. Yeah, she has not disappointed. To go along with our old school clubs, we got these, uh, I think these are, what are Place they called? Mats? Place mats or something like that. $9 for the set, look really cool. Like some uh, Lynx Golf, and we also, I'm not gonna touch that, but that's a uh, jock strap it looks like, but it's for got golfers. a, yeah, for golfers. Not really sure what's going on there, why you would need that. I mean, I guess someone could shank you right in the jump. Oh, yeah, we'll leave you. We'll leave it up to uh, your imagination. Ashley also found. So excited! Really pretty cool. yeah. champion hoodie. Sweet champion hoodie. I think she got off better than me at this one, but uh, yeah, let's see what we find at the next thrift store. Next up is a blast in the past: a Wilson Sam Snead Blue Ridge Persimmon Wood. I used to be able to hit them when I was younger much younger. This Cadillac 3 was actually pretty good. I'm sure it's just a marketing gimmick and Cadillac didn't actually make it, but it would be interesting to see who made that because it's a pretty good club. Looks like an old Hogan 5 wood for $4. Got a Integra Golf Hybrid. Got a full set of these Dunlops. They look like the uh, TaylorMade Super Steels. Got the Cobra, King Cobras. Those have been here for a while. The TaylorMade Burner Plus. What else do we got? Looks like a uh, Adams Tightlies knockoff. Some power belts. Not sure. Well, this looks pretty cool. Got a Northwestern Thunderbird. That's pretty cool uh, design right there. I think the Thunderbirds are the people who uh, put on the waste management. Probably not the same people, but uh, yeah. Pretty good starter sets, but nothing really uh, worth picking up for us. So let's see what they got at the next thrift store. All right, we met AJ here who happened to be, had watched our videos in the past and uh, he got himself a definite score. Got a Nike golf bag, looks pretty sweet, old school. Got a Cleveland high bore in there. Got some uh, other irons. I think this was a, yeah, Cobra S2, pretty sweet. What's that? Not really sure what some of these other ones are, but look pretty sweet. You go uh, go to Goodwill's often? Man, if I can see him, I'm going. If I'm close by, <laughs> I am definitely going to try yeah, to find something. You, you definitely know what you're going to find. Definitely got yourself a good score. Although I am a Chelsea fan, so. Oh, uh, wow. see. I'm sorry. Honey. Yeah. I, I can't deal with you. No <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good one. Hey, thanks. All right, let's see if there's any goodies left over. We got some pen seekers. My dad used these. Not this exact model, but uh, pen seekers for like 20 years. He absolutely loved them. Uh, oh, got some. What are those? Fair ladies? That's like a, cool. yeah, like Hogan Princess. Is that a full set? Uh, there's a lot of them. I'm not Acromatic. Sure I've never even seen these before. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, we got a uh, Steelhead Plus 9 degree driver. This was here the last time. I didn't realize it had a ping grip. Is this a, huh, I might pick this up. I think it's like $1.99 for the clubs here, but yeah. What do you think, those fair ladies? Yeah, we'll see if it's a full set, but that's really cool. Yeah, those are cool. <laughs> Got to give a special thank you to uh, AJ. He said there was more clubs out here. He wasn't lying. They got some in this Titleist box. Got some more down here. What else do we got? This looks like a, I don't know, I thought it was a TP Mills at first. What else do we got over here? Got a bunch of old ones down there. Pretty sweet. Got some baby vans. This is cool. I've never actually picked this stuff before. It's been in the store. Got a Miami head cover. Oh, Callaway Big Berthas. Those are sweet. This is like a Callaway trade up box. Yeah. The grips are definitely. If you ever had any doubt that it's cord. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this isn't a cord grip. This is the oh, wind grip, and this is you. how it destroys at the Ooh. end. But yeah, this is cool. We might have to pick these up. Callaway Big Bertha, women's clubs. Definitely need new grips, but that's not a problem. I can re grip them for you. Those look like they'd be perfect for you. I'm excited to get a few extra boxes too. Yeah, how else. cool is this? It just like before it's even in the store, we get to look at them. That's cool. Ashley comes away with some new irons. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Next up, we have a full set of Callaway Big Bertha Ladies Club 6 through Pitching Witch. I still can't believe we found a full set of golf clubs before they were even brought out into the store. They must have been part of the Callaway trade-in program. Not really sure how Goodwill got these. We all hit these really well, and as soon as John regrips them, they're definitely going in the back. All right, guys, there you have it. Pretty good day, if you ask me. We got my dad back out on the course. You guys have been asking for that. We got to get him out on the actual yeah. course, though. So <laughs> if this video gets, what do you think? 2,000 likes. 2,000, that's a lot. All right, we get 2,000 <laughs> likes, do you agree? I'll, yeah. yeah, we're gonna shake on it. 2,000 likes, we'll get the uh, him out on the course, but uh, 
Yeah, this zebra putter is actually really money. He's already claimed it. So yep. hope you guys <laughs> like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.